Okay, today we're taking another look at a Mini Revoltec. This time it's Mini Revoltec 001 Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid. So I received this guy in along with my Venom Snake that uh, was my previous review. Because uh, definitely a big fan of the Metal Gear franchise. And uh, Solid Snake is probably one of my favorite characters from the series so i definitely wanted to represent him in this form as well uh box is big uh big time uh, different from what i got from the venom snake so it's just a really small pink box as you can see here as he's spinning around it's a lot plainer it does have some images of the figure itself and some of the poses that you can get is pretty cool and spinning it back around again very plain not a whole lot going on here there is like this foil effect right here um, top and bottom so pretty simple box not as elaborate as the venom snake one but uh, still pretty cool so I'm gonna crack this open and give you guys a better look at Solid Snake. Stay tuned. Okay, so before we get into the figure itself, I'll just go over briefly the accessories that come with it. So as you can see, he comes with a multitude of hands. He's got a total of three right hands and three left. Uh, fists, trigger holding, uh, regular grasping, uh, smoking hand, another trigger hand and again another fist for the left side uh, beyond that for the SOTCOM pistol you get a holstered version an unholstered version and there's also the actual empty holster that is on the figure itself beyond that uh, you get the, well, let's take a closer look at the actual SATCOM. It's pretty cool detail that they put into it. Came out really sharp. Uh, does have the ability to detach the silencer, which is nice. Very sharply sculpted, I gotta say. Excellent job. Um, you also get the binoculars, which have a pig, so that you can plug it into the hand itself to hold them. You see that the hand has a hole in it. And you just peg that in so that he can hold it. Um, you also get a claymore and wire. It's an old baggie here. Um, also an extra cigarette in case you lose it, which you may very well. But this is extremely tiny. The FAMAS assault rifle, main uh, assault rifle in Metal Gear Solid. Also very sharp detail on this as well. Really nicely done. And you also get this little tool for posing the eyes, which I'll show you later. And a couple of uh, display stand options. I'll just show you those. So you got your basic one, which is just simply to peg the figure onto it. Very simple. And then you get this stage setup. So with this one, uh, just like a little V. And it holds the figure up when you pick it into his back. So you have the ability to display him in an action pose. Does have a little articulation as well. So that's it. That's a look at the accessories. Now on to the figure. Okay, so now for a closer look at the figure itself. Uh, here he is in the one of his most iconic poses you know simply uh, drawing his weapon and taking a two-handed aim 
a pretty cool posability on this figure give you guys a breakdown on the articulation but first I just wanted to give you guys a good look 360 of the figure so taking them in hand uh, pretty nice little assortment again of uh, articulation so you get the head which can look down quite a bit and look up about that far so not terribly high but definitely can uh, move down quite a bit little side to side and certainly left and right the collar does hinder it a bit uh, the arms on a double bull joint so you get a lot of motion you can bring it forward out up down goes out to about that far um, a nice almost double jointed but it's a single joint but it comes in a little past 90 and the wrist is on a swivel and hinge the waist here you got an upper torso joint so it's on a bull joint can kind of pose side to side forward comes forward about that much and back only about that far you got a lower waist joint which doesn't do a whole lot you, you get a little more pivot out of it but not so much side to side on the lower one the hips you got this these straps that are floating that kind of hide the joint but with that you could bring the leg pretty high up good range on the knee of course there's also swivel points at all of these bull joints so you can get more articulation out of it and then the foot forward back left right and it has a great pivot look at that pivot so you can get him in some dynamic poses it's really cool so articulation on this guy is pretty good pretty happy with it so far so I'm just gonna show you next the eye system you can see here the uh, the eyes uh, are actually posable I'm gonna cut to a another part and show you the actual movement but I just wanted to show you how it comes default in the box face on this guy is not that great I kinda like the uh, the job they did on the venom snake a lot better but it's not horrible at this scale I suppose it's passable did a pretty good job on the, the hair and the bandana uh, looks a little I don't know the way the face juts out a little bit looks kinda weird but hopefully I can uh, improve that with adjusting the eyes okay so to adjust the eyeballs you pull the face off the figure this slots right out and they give you this um, I'll show you the back first Let's see the eyeballs are posable with the use of this stick so you simply just line it up and move it around a little uh, tricky to do but you can you know come up with something to get it all posed so I'll try and get that post up and we'll go on to the next segment okay so now I've got the uh, the eyes posed up kind of bring it in a little closer so you can get a better look so I got a pose like sort of looking up and down the barrel uh, try to make them a little more uh, menacing looking that way uh, it works pretty good it takes a little finesse and patience to get the eyes pose right but once you do it doesn't look too bad and here he is with the uh, FAMAS assault rifle and a crouched uh, firing pose looks pretty cool that looks really weird for the back of his hair oh there it is just kind of the shadow 
So pretty easy to get them into some some good poses. I found that the hands on the Venom Snake uh, swapped out a little easier. These ones seem to be a little trickier for some reason. Um, but definitely not a big problem with the figure. You can certainly pop them on and off relatively easily. But I noticed they don't go in as far as they did on the Venom Snake. So, I don't know if you can see that. You get this gap. So it doesn't quite plug in the whole way. But again, not really a big deal. Just a minor uh, note. Okay, so here's a little comparison to Venom Snake, uh, also from the Mini Revolt, Revolt Tech line. If you're interested in a closer look at uh, this figure, I did a review just a short while back. And so you can see they scale in pretty well together. They look, uh, they definitely look good uh, in scale. Notice that was an issue with some of the. Uh, Play Arts Kai figures that scale was not as uh, important, but with the uh, little Revolt Tech mini line, so far scale is pretty good. Uh, out of the two of them, I do like the Venom Snake uh, execution better. I think it's a little bit nicer done. The head sculpt is a little better too, and you definitely get a lot more uh, options and display uh, accessories to pose with them. But they definitely look cool together. I'm glad I got them both. But just wanted to show you what these guys look like pretty much side by side. Not too bad. They look pretty cool together. So that's a look at them uh, in the same line. So get on to a couple more poses and we'll conclude this review. Okay, so here's a little pose uh, where he's uh, just surveyed the area and he's contacting Otacon. Uh, you could get some pretty good articulation again, you know, with the joints, you can see how tight the arm is bent in. Um, and then, of course, crouching poses are no problem at all. Just zoom in on that so you can get a better look. Pretty well done. Uh, again, digging that. The face isn't amazing, but, you know, you get it in a certain pose, you pose the eyes up. And it looks pretty cool on the shelf. Alright, so overall this figure is uh, pretty well done. Really happy with the uh, Revolt Tech Mini line. They're pretty affordable. Uh, again, they're small, so about 40 bucks for Solid Snake. Picked him up also on BBTS. There's not a whole lot of Solid Snake figures out there. Uh, but I am going to be taking a look at the... Figma Solid Snake from Sons of Liberty. Got that guy coming in very soon, so stay tuned for a review on that. But the Revolt Tech Mini Solid Snake from the, uh, the hit game is definitely a really cool figure to add to the collection. Uh, once you got this guy posed, he looks pretty awesome. Really happy with the uh, articulation uh, there's also no paint slop on this guy, so they did a pretty good job for a figure of this size. I do recommend them if you want to get a solid snake uh, for your collection, you don't want to break the bank. Uh, something with good articulation, this is it. Again, they're about 4 inches tall, so not the uh, largest display presence, but certainly pretty fun little figures to pose around. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching, subscribing, and commenting. Until next time.